So everyone, welcome back to the Beginner Breakdown series. In this episode, we're going to go over Joe. If you've never seen a Beginner Breakdown before, this video series is intended more for beginners or players who are just trying to learn the basics of a character. And with that in mind, let's get started. Let's go over Far Normals, Light Punch, Light Kick, Heavy Punch, and Heavy Kick. Far Light Punch is a mid. You can block both crouching or standing. It will whiff on most crouchers in the game, unless they're a big bodied character. It has good range on it, it's a tiny bit plus on a block, and you can super and special cancel it. Far Light Kick is another mid, it has great range. It's pretty quick, it's uh, just a little bit negative on block, and you can super cancel it. Far Heavy Punch is another mid, we block both crouching or standing. It will whiff on pretty much all the crouches in the game, unless they're a big bodied character. It's just a little bit negative on block, and you can uh, super cancel it. Far Heavy Kick is another mid, we block both crouching or standing. It has pretty good range on it, as you see. It's a, just a little bit negative on block, and you can super cancel it as well. Next up, we got close normals. Here's light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and heavy kick. Close light punch is a mid. It can be blocked both crouching or standing. It's just a little bit negative on block, and you can super and special cancel it. Close light kick is another mid. You can block both crouching or standing. It's just a little bit plus on block, and you can super and special cancel it. Close heavy punch is an, uh, yet another mid. It's a little bit more negative on block, but not really easily punished and you can super and special cancel it close heavy kick is a mid and we block both crouching or standing it's just a little bit negative on block not really punishable and you can super and special cancel it not only that but close heavy kick will stand opponents who are crouching and that's useful because one of his command normals will whiff on crouchers forward and then heavy kick or light kick rather so if you go into it from heavy punch it's gonna whiff if you go into it from close heavy kick it'll connect Remote close, Joe can combo his close light punch and a close light kick. It'll look like that. And you can go into his command slide from that as well if you wanted to for a really easy 3 hit combo. Next up we got crouching normals. Here's light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and heavy kick. Crouching light punch is a mid. You can be blocked both crouching or standing. It's a little bit plus on block. And from point blank you can chain I believe just up to 2. And you can super and special cancel it. Crouching light kick is a real low. They can only be blocked crouching. It's just a little bit negative on block. From up close, you can chain up to, I believe, three. And you cannot special cancel it, so you'll need to go into a, a different normal that you can uh, special cancel to get a, you know, a combo off of it. Crouching Heavy Punch is a mid and block both crouching or standing. It's a little bit more negative on block than the other normals, but not punishable. And you can super and special cancel it. Crouching Heavy Kick is a low. It's also Joe's Sweep. It's pretty negative on block. It's punishable negative from up close. From further away, it's harder to punish. And you can super and special cancel it to try to make it safer. With Joe, you have a pretty easy max mode confirm that you could do from low. You do something like that, or you might want to go into close heavy kick instead at the end there. Next up, we got jumping normals. Here's jumping light punch, neutral jump, light kick. And then uh, jumping light kick is this knee. Then jumping heavy punch, and then jumping heavy kick. Jumping light punch, the hitbox is mostly horizontal, so you're not really going to jump in on somebody with that. It's really quick, you could try to use it as an as an air to air, meet somebody up in the air as they're jumping towards you. Alternatively, you can also use jumping neutral light kick, that'll work as well. Jumping light kick, jumping heavy punch, and jumping heavy kick can all be used as your standard jump ins, you can get whatever you want off of them as long as you time it right. And these three buttons also work well as short hop buttons. Jumping light kick is obviously going to be your quickest one, so if you need to throw out something that's quicker. Jumping heavy punch has a pretty good angle for short hopping, and it's a little bit quicker than jumping heavy kick. But jumping heavy kick has better range. Joe's jumping pullback attack, which you can execute by hitting heavy punch and heavy kick while in there. This right there. It's pretty standard, it's good, has a good range on it. It won't whiff on croucher, so you can short hop with it. And it's plus on block like all jumping pullback attacks. Next up we got Joe's command normals. He has a few. He has um, step high kick, which is forward and light kick. This right here, he takes step forward and does a high kick, as the name suggests. And I think he has another one, uh, back and light kick. This right here does not move forward. These two command normals you can use in, in tandem and within your combos. So I'll give you an example. Like that, and then all combos. I went from forward, or from step kick, which is forward light kick, into the back light kick version. And you can go in any order. So uh, here's from forward to back, basically. And then you can do it in the reverse order as well, and it'll combo. And both those kicks are, are uh, special cancelable and super cancelable. Once 
one thing to note is that step high kick will whiff on crouchers in the game, which is why you have to go into it from something like close heavy kick, that way it stands them up. Back leg kick is a little bit better at hitting crouchers. That's a really useful combo tool. And you can even use it in block strings as well. And it's only a little bit negative on block, whichever way you go. Because of the startup on those two command normals, it's really only reliable to get them off of anything with a lot of hit stun on them. So like I was showing you, you know, close heavy kick for example. But like close light punch, you're not gonna work. And you can even use these as like part of max modes. Next command normal Joe has is down forward and light kick. This slide right here has pretty good range. It's very negative on block. This slide can also go under projectiles, so it can low profile under it. So like King's throwing out Venom Strikes. You're within range, you could slide under it and uh, hit your opponent. It's also a pretty easy combo tool. You just don't really get much off of it. Then Joe's Blowback Attack, which you can execute by hitting Heavy Punch and Heavy Kick or on the ground. This right here, it's pretty good. It's only a little bit negative on block. It has good range. And you can uh, special on super cancel if you wanted to try to make it a little safer as well. If you do land it, you have a couple options. You can do something like that. You can also opt not to do the projectile and just wait. That's something easy you could do as well. Just go into climax super after that far kick. Let's go over throws. Here's forward throw. Pretty much sends a full screen, not a hard knockdown. Then back throw is, does the same thing, not a hard knockdown and sets them pretty much full screen. Let's go over Joe's special moves. Here's his first one, it's half circle four plus punch. Here's a light punch version of it, it's a projectile. Goes full screen, pretty slow, a lot of startup. The heavy punch version of it has about the same amount of startup and it goes really far, or rather it goes really fast. The X version of it, about the same startup. And it's three projectiles and they go pretty fast. The light punch and the heavy punch version of the special moves do the same amount of damage. The X version does the most amount of damage. Not too much to say about them, they're projectiles. You can try to compete in some projectile wars with these a little bit. You're not going to be able to compete for too long because of the long startup against the, like a real projectile character. You can combo into these if you wanted to. It just has to be off of something with a lot of hits done on it. Kind of like that. I use the, the fast version of it, the heavy punch version. And then you can also super cancel them as well. The light punch version of this special move is only a tiny bit negative on block. The heavy punch version of it is punishable. He has a lot more recovery on it. And the EX one also has some decent recovery on it, but pretty difficult to punish. Next special move he has is an uppercut. It's done by hitting forward, down, down, forward, and kick. Let's move right here. So that was a light kick version of it. it has like the most shallow angle. And then the heavy kick version of it and then the EX one goes even further. They all have roughly the same amount like of, of startup. And they're all really negative on block, so don't go getting these unblocked. Each one does more damage than the last, so the light kick version does the least. Heavy kick does a little bit more. And EX does the most. They all have a little bit of invulnerability at the startup. I think the EX one might have the most. So you could use these to try to get through certain gaps and block strings. These are pretty easy combo tools as well. You can really get them off of a lot. Things with low hit stun or high hit stun. As long as you're within range of whichever uppercut you choose, then it'll land. You can also use these as pre like preemptive anti-airs. Just throw it out early enough and you can catch somebody out of the air with it. Not only that, but you can super and climax cancel it as well. Next special movie has this half circle forward plus kick. That move right there. That's the light kick version of it. He only goes about that far. Hit kick version of it goes further. And EX goes full screen, and it's very fast as you see. So light kick does the least amount of damage. Heavy kick does a little bit more. And EX does the most damage. All these are really negative on block, so be careful. Especially if you land them deep. Like that, you just like land right next to them. <laughs> the light kick version of it and the EX version of them, you can get off of really anything. Like for example, like far light punch. Like that all comboed. And then the same with the EX. So that means you can really get the light kick version of it or the EX version of, of it off of really anything. Low hit stun or high hit stun. The heavy kick version of it you can really only get off of anything with a, a lot of hit stun on it. And you can also super cancel these into whichever super. You'll probably be canceling into that kick super more. And a climax cancel too is pretty simple. And there's not much you get off of these. 
even the EX version, they really just like end the combo. And there's nothing tricky about those special moves. They're all mids if you block both crouching or standing. Next special move Joe has is a mash attack. So you mash punch and you get that. And you can keep mashing and you can get up to 12 hits. That was a regular version of it. And the regular version of this move also has a follow up. At any point during those up to 12 hits, you can hit core circle back and punch and you'll do a follow up. So that was the light punch version of it. The EX version of it you can get by just mashing both punches at the same time. And it does the whole thing right there. Uh, there it does the whole canned animation. There's no extra input you have to do to get that uppercut. So the regular version of this attack is pretty punishable. You can punish it with a pretty quick far normal. Yeah, even the follow up is pretty negative. Or well, not very negative, but just negative enough that a quick far normal can hit it. The EX version, however, is even on block. These can be pretty easy combo tools if you're just starting out. You can just like do a couple command normals and then just mash punch and then you, it'll all combo. And it, it just depends on range. If you're really far out, like that's being you know, a far light punch range, it's not going to combo. Unless you're talking about the EX version. The EX version of it's really quick, so you can get it off of really a lot, even if you're far away. The regular version of it, you can get off of a lot. Low hit stun or high hit stun buttons, as long as you're within range. And you can super cancel the regular versions of it, as long as you don't do the follow up. And I believe you can cancel it at any point. Just a quick warning, if the opponent is crouching, the first couple hits of the regular version can whiff on crouchers. And it looks like the EX version as well. There's not a lot you can get off of this special move unless you use the EX version. So stuff like that's really easy, you can do that kick. I believe you can even land a slide mid-screen as long as you time it right. This mash move, specifically the EX version, can get you a lot more damage if Joe has the opponent in the corner. And it basically will look sort of like that, but a longer version of that. So you saw me do an EX version, and because it recovers so quick, the opponent was falling down and I was able to hit him with just the regular version of the mash punch. From there, the actual real combo, or like the better players will do the follow up to the regular punch version of it. That right there, and it'll juggle them up even higher into the air, and then they'll do the EX version again. It, since this is a beginner breakdown, just just remember that you can get more off of EX mid screen, and you can get even more off of EX punch in the corner. And there's nothing tricky about the special move, they're all mids, so you can block both crutching or standing. Last special move he has is core circle back plus kick. Here's a light kick version of it. Goes about that far. Here's a heavy kick version of it, it goes even further. And the EX version goes about the same distance. They all have pretty similar startups, which is to say they're all really slow and they have a lot of startup. But because of that startup, all of them are really safe on block. So the light kick version of it is even on block, and then the heavy kick version of it, just a little bit negative on block. And interesting enough, the EX version of it is plus on block. And each one does more damage than the last, so light kick does least, heavy kick does more, and EX does the most. Because of the considerable startup, you probably won't be comboing into these moves. He's right there, it didn't combo, which means there's a gap there. So as you see right there, I was able to escape that because of the gap using that invincible reversal. In other circumstances, I might I imagine that if it was a different reversal, maybe one that goes straight up vertically, it probably would have hit Joe during that gap. You can test your opponent out and like use it as part of a block string, see if they're kind of awake and paying attention, and see, see what their response is to that. And they can lose to well-timed button presses. And because EX is so plus, you can actually link buttons afterwards. Like that was far light punch in that combo. And So stuff like that is possible, like linking is far light punch after that EX version and then getting like a, a special move after that because it's far light punch is special cancelable. So as you, like as you see right there, his, it's so plus that I was able to link a crouching heavy punch afterwards. And it's just all timing. Next up we got supers. First one he has is Corsicle forward twice and then punch. Right here, it's a projectile super. It goes forward just a little bit. This is it on hit. The EX version of it. 
Because a little bit f uh, further forward does more damage. His next super is Corficle Forward. Has to go back plus kick. That was the EX version of it. His Climax Super is Corficle Forward twice and both kicks. And that goes full screen. If you want to cancel a super into another super, you can go either way. So if you go from the punch super into the kick one, you want to cancel before the last hit. Because you wait until the tenth hit, you know they're they're too they're too high up, and you're just gonna whiff everything. If you cancel before that, you'll get more damage out of it. So if you're canceling that way, you want to cancel on that fourth hit, the part of the super where he goes like that. If you're comboing into climax super, you can go either way. So if you go from the punch super, you want to cancel right away, and you'll get all that damage. The hurricane is still there during the climax super, so all the damage adds up. If you're going from the other super, it's the same rules as before. You're canceling on this part of the, the super. Some quick combos to get you started with, like with every character, his close heavy buttons, like close heavy kick, and to like uppercut, or really into like any of the special moves, is you know fine. Safest option would be into like light punch projectile. In order to complicate a little bit more, you can start adding these command normals. Something like that will work, or like really any of his other special moves, just because there's a lot of hits done on those kicks. From lows, he's a little bit more limited. Just because his uh, crouching light punch has very limited range. So something like that will work. That was one crouching light punch. Or one crouching light kick and a crouching light punch. Then I special cancel down the uppercut. You can also do something like that. And that was from uh, one crouching light kick and a close light punch. Then a heavy kick version of the uppercut. And that's another one you can do too. Alright everyone, another beginner breakdown in the bag. And another team completed. Thanks for the patience and waiting for this next beginner breakdown video. It didn't really feel like doing one last week, so I didn't force it. And I uh, know shilling time, let's just go to member select. select. Alright, that concludes the Joe Higashi beginner breakdown video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. And we'll see where I jump from here, you'll find out next episode. And I'll see you then.